My name is Mike Wentz and I'm the manager of Dangerous Goods Compliance at American Airlines. It's my team's job to make sure everything that gets loaded into our aircraft follows the strictest safety regulations. We take it very seriously because the safety of our passengers and our employees handling them is of the utmost importance. I've been an aerospace and aviation enthusiast my entire life and I've been with American for 32 years. I started out working as a ramp supervisor in Wichita, Kansas, loading and unloading baggage and mail. I've also worked in customer care and cabin service, but my career with Dangerous Goods took off in 2005 when a position opened up at the headquarters. I didn't know much about Dangerous Goods at the time, but I knew I'd never be comfortable in the role unless I could understand the regulations back to front and be able to communicate them effectively. So I dug in and started reading the U.S. regulations in Title 49 CFR and the International Air Transport Association regs. I became very familiar with PHMSA and started monitoring the Federal Register to see what was coming. I also discovered that it's really a world of exceptions. The regulations might seem cut and dried, but there are exceptions for everything and everyone, which makes it hard to standardize training for your employees. On a typical day, when I'm not addressing specific questions about passenger baggage or cargo, I'm working with our ramp, cargo, and passenger personnel to ensure our training is up to date. And with the regulations changing as often as they do, particularly around lithium batteries, it's definitely keeping me busy. Lithium battery technology powers so many things. It seems like there's a new product out there every day and we have to know if it's something we can accept on our aircraft. And that means keeping our people updated at every location we serve. We have a wide range of computer-based and web-based training options we use, but we found conducting face-to-face -face training is an essential part of the equation. We also conduct regular audits of our stations to make sure everything is operating according to regulations. The team will go out and spend several days on site checking manuals and signage, making sure employees are asking the right questions when accepting baggage from passengers, and monitoring operations in the cargo, gate, and ramp areas. This includes auditing the notification to captain, or NOTOC, which lists any hazmat loaded on an aircraft as required by the regulations. Beyond monitoring our own practices, we're also taking a proactive role working closely with the FAA to mitigate risk in transporting dangerous goods on commercial aircraft. We've participated in transportation research board projects testing the allowable limits of dry ice on a Boeing 777, and we're currently working with the NTSB and UL on ways to make lithium batteries safer. It's very important that the manufacturers and the airlines work together to understand each other's concerns and develop standards that meet everyone's needs in this world of exceptions. It's definitely an exciting and challenging role. For me, the most rewarding part of my job is to see our people take the knowledge we give them and put it to good use. We couldn't do this without our dedicated team of trained professionals. It's a great feeling knowing that our people are taking care of passengers to ensure every American Airlines flight is safe and comfortable.